Good morning and welcome to the St. Joseph's Gardening News. <coughs> Today we will be looking at our gardening project which has involved some gardening, some animation and some shooting videos. You have to press red, by the way. I am. I'm recorded. Oh, so, what are you doing today? So, we're going to plant um, seeds, planting seeds. Yes. Okay, planting do you know what you have to do? Yes. Go on. Isha, tell me what you have to do. Um, the mixture is a special mix of British annual perennial perennial wildflower selected to attract bees, butterflies, and moths. The annual flowers will look beautiful and provide nectar. And why are we planting them? Why, why is it good to plant seeds? To make the hey, Freddy, and sand bees and worms come. I'm going to make it for butterflies. Yeah. And you can see here that it's got a bee. That's what it's called plant bee. Okay, what are you doing? Um, I'm making seeds, you can see. Let, I'll show you. Can I yeah. see inside them? No, I haven't even done it. Okay? They look very nice. Now sprinkle them. Let's see how you do it. What's my garlic gold? Spread them out. So it'll, it'll thrive on poor soil. Do you think we've got poor soil here? Yeah. It, it, it looks pretty poor, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got to give food. Yep, yeah, good. So the plants provide food for the insects. How will bees help the plants? Uh, they give honey. It'll lick it. What will it do to all the pollen? Uh, um, collect it. Collect it. Where's it going to take it? To the hive. To the hive? Yep. Wild marjoram, field poppy, red campion, salpio, wild carrot, bird's food trefoy, cornflower, wild red clover, musk mallow, and common vetch. And garlic. This is what I'm going to do with the garlic. This stick, but it's rotten. Hmm? So I'm just going to. I'll put it in here. I'm done. See? That's how you make a garlic. And so we have to open it and sprinkle it on this patch. And then when when it's the next month, I think, when it's February, I think, or January, I think they was um, planting green beans and and then it will, um, and then when it's ready, we are going to eat them, I think. That's going to be awesome. Jamal, yeah. what are you doing? I'm patting the seeds in. Okay, so you're gently patting the seeds into the soil, good? I'm going to um, leave it there, but I, but I won't forget about it. I'm done. Bye. And that's it. Next What's the weather like today? It's amazing. Actually, it ain't. It's really poor. And it's raining right now, which I do not like. And the sky is what? Is it raining? Look at it. It's cloudy with grey. Grey. Well, I'm kidding, good boy. Green? Yes, miss, take him in. Grey clouds. Oh. <laughs> are you actually filming this? Yes. You are. She's filming the weather. Right, turn it off. <laughs> um, today we're going to be the, um, like... Uh, planting flowers and we have this diary and we just did it didn't we yeah we're going back did in did you enjoy and, it yeah and we're there just waiting for us to come in so right now i'm inside gonna take off my hood and it's gonna be really fun over to our journalist in the classroom to the left. thank you newsroom i'm here in the classroom where we first started to imagine our dream gardens We drew them and described them and then made pictures in groups based on our ideas as a platform. We then animated some things that we would like to go there. Bye. 
refinery. Which provides the plant with minerals and nutrients it needs to grow over to our journalists in the field. Most of that we have out here in our real garden, like wool from the sun when it comes out. Wool are from rain, hail and snow. should be attracted to the garden when the wild flowers are in bloom. And we have plenty of wind already. The wind is also a pollinator. What? The wind is also a pollinator, as also blows pollen from one flower to another. That leaves one thing the plants need. Soil! But the soil here is very poor. That's fine for the wild flowers we planted here. But other plants, such as vegetables, need more food or nutrients from the soil. So how can we improve the soil? Over to our science correspondent and soil expert, Dr. Edward. Thank you, Mal. This is the situation in the ground. Soil is made up of sand, silt and clay, yes. which are just built of rocks and mountains worn down by the weather yes. or the sea in the process called erosion. Erosion. Sand has the biggest particles. Salt has medium-sized particles. Clay has the smaller. This is mixed in with the cave organic matter, which to you and me is just dead things like leaves, plants and animals. Yum. Eww. I really want to eat that. No, honestly, it's delicious. Over to our colleague, Dr. A. Wong. The deep organic matter is broken down by mini bees like us. We're mini bees. All invertebrates to use our official name along with